Hi, I'm Christine and welcome to Polar Transformations. I have this cute little table. I don't know if I'd call it cute. It's pretty much just old. Um, it is a little lamp table, magazine, end table. So it's really useful for what I need it for though. My brother had moved in with us after he had a stroke and he needs a little tiny table next to the chair that he sits in. So this will fit in there just fine. And then he has some place to put stuff and he has a light there so he doesn't have to go up to the other side of the room all the time. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna turn this into because this is like, what, like mid-century style. I don't know, we used to have these up in like up in Pennsylvania and stuff all the time when I lived up there. But I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to try and make it modern. I am going to do something with the lampshade. I'm going to do something kind of cool with this. So let's see what happens. out really good because I paid $20 for this thing. I know lots of times you get something like this for free but it meets my needs so we'll see. I'm gonna start cleaning it. Some trusty 409. I love 409. It's like my favorite cleaner ever. Let's see if we can get a good angle here. So there are bumps, water damage that's on here. Eh, this is a really old table, so I am gonna have to sand it down, maybe do a skim coat over it. Then let's look at these legs. Obviously some water damage, or we could say old damage. Okay, we're gonna start sanding. Okay, so we're gonna see what happens when I sand these bubbles and if I can get this sand smooth. If not, it's okay. You can see the pressed board right underneath there and so I'll put some sort of a skim coat over those before I put my finish on it but I am going to go through the veneer on all these spots to smooth this out and it'll be fine. So it went through on a few of these they're smoothed down and I'll put some um, covering over them I'll see what I have. I don't know what I have in the closet right now. And then we'll just smooth it out. And I'm gonna do a finish on this to make it look like stone. I'm gonna go and give a quick scuff sand to everything else. And then we'll start painting. So I decided I am just gonna go over this with primer, the Bullseye 123 primer. I'm not worried about bleed through since it's just pressed board and um, I'm doing like I said a finish on this to make it look like stone so let's get this covered up
look at that, it doesn't actually want to stick to that. So I am going to do a skim coat of plastic wood by, what is that, DAP plastic wood? Just so that my paint has something to stick to. Since it doesn't want to stick to the pressed board, that's okay. I'm going to work on the lampshade. I'm going to start with, I have some watered down gray paint. And I'm just going to start. Ooh, I should probably cover my table. Okay, I am going to cover this whole thing with some gray just to kind of stain it with the paint. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a pink and a little bit of a rust color. I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm going to start with the pink first because I'm using the same sponge. I'm trying to water it down as much as possible. And I don't want, I, I want it to be very watered down. There we go. So while this is still wet, I'm going to come over and do it with the other color. And this will be a lot more <laughs> dominant, but... Again, I just want it to leak down. It's kind of coming out the way I wanted it to, so that's pretty cool. This is where we make this start looking like it is natural stone. So, I have... Ooh, four colors here. I accidentally dipped that in the black already and I didn't want to do that. And I have a light gray, a dark gray, black, and a silver. And these are just right out of Walmart, 99 cents. Some of them are 59 cents. I got black. I got drizzle gray. I got this one is folk art. Um, enamel glass paint silver sterling and then this one is just the dark gray okay so i am going to start with the light gray and i guess i'm just going to leave that right the way it is i'm going to start working out with the light gray i don't even know if that's the end that i wanted to do I am just going to so I had done my entire kitchen counter using the same method when we were on lockdown and I had all underneath my cabinets and I had on my island and it took me days dark gray. And in order to get it to look like stone, you need to do several layers. So if I just did the light gray, and then I did this dark gray, and then I did some black, and then I did some silver, and it would look very one dimensional but when you start then putting multiple layers on and if you look this is not uniform there's blotchiness there is light spots okay now obviously there's still so much white showing 
And I'm gonna even right now go into using a little bit of the black and then a little bit of the silver. And the silver will really sparkle, especially right under this light. But then I'm gonna come back and do it all over again with the colors. Now the black, that is very prominent. And we definitely want to go lightly with that. It's more of a highlight. The grays, because it will overpower it quickly. Okay, I am going to go in on this base with some of the Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in black in satin. If the black's just a little too much, I might go in with some stippling of gray over it. But I think the black with the stone looking top will come out nice. Nice light coat on it. It's over. And look at what I just did. layers on it and I think I like it I'm gonna leave it exactly the way it is this does not go with it and it's all icky I did do a sanding on it I'm gonna put use this paint that I used on here the metallic one if I don't really like that I'm going to go to the other metallic paint that I have but that one since it's going over this gold color um, would probably take a couple of coats anyway, so I'm going to use this paint first, and if I like it, I'm just going to leave it that way. And since I was already doing the top with the paint, with the sponge, I'm going to do this with the sponge. So I decided I'm going to do it with this Moonshine Metallics in the Silver Bullet. That's the other one that I had. And... I'm going to go over all of this with that because it's really pretty. I am happy with the top, but it needs a coating on it. And I'm just going to use my Minwax. So as I am making this wet again, the black is now getting highlighted. I'm going to get a quick coat on here. Do not, for any of you who have watched many of my videos, I do not like these foam brushes. But this is a little tiny table and I did not want to use my big brush. Just felt like it was not the right thing to do. I don't know, you ever get that where you just feels like you need to do something. Well, let's see how well this will come over on the video. I had done the spray of the light gray and the pink 
and the darker pink and the darker pink was really prominent and it just really looked beige and dirty <laughs> so, um, just as a highlight it wasn't giving me what I wanted and I wasn't getting out of it what I wanted so now it does I went ended up going back over it with black um, watered down black and the spray bottle that I was using was not good because it just kept getting all gunked up so this one is done what do you think of it I got the granite look going on on this Got a couple of coats of top coat over it, and it is absolutely perfect for what I need it for. So, if you like this transformation, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that like button. I'm Christine, and I will see you on the next flip.